Hey, welcome back to the Command Center. And this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we are going to be talking about bug out locations and how you may find some and what you may want to use to do that. Now there's a lot of different ways that you could use your phone, a tablet, a computer, things of that nature, anything electronic that um, you could try to find a bug out location for yourself. It may be a place where you know or that you have been before and know that you'd like to use that as your bug out location. In which case, that is the best case scenario if you know the lay of the land. On the other hand, if you do not know the lay of the land and something happens, you may not have service to those devices being electronic um, devices as far as your phone, laptop, and so on and so forth. So you need to have something to fall back on. Now there are a lot of different types of maps that you can get out there on different locations and everything else. One of the best maps I think anybody could spend the money on and have the availability of a lot of different aspects of trails, roads, highways, train tracks, you name it, bridges, everything, is the good old road atlas. Now this is the 2020 edition. This is the, the new one from this year. And I would suggest everybody buy the large scale. All right, because it is so, you know, you get the small scale and you take something like this and it's very hard to read. You're gonna probably need a magnifying glass even if you have good eyes so you can see what you're looking at. <clears throat> now the great thing with buying the Road Atlas, okay, is one of the best features of this is right on this page right here first page and if you look right here it shows you it lists everything that is anything on a map and i'm going to read off a few of those for you and for that i have to put on my glasses now it goes right down through, it lists all your basic roads, um, all your new roads, um, you have the ramps, the ferries, the tunnels, the railroads, all the interstates um, that you're probably gonna wanna stay away from. Uh, you may wanna use like railroads um, to get through different areas. And remember, you know, you can use those to cross bodies of water as long as they haven't been destroyed. Um, it gives you trailheads, it gives you campgrounds, it gives you state parks, um, it gives you a lot of the, um, all the scenic routes as far as anything that you may need to try to find out your location. It's all on these maps. Now this map cost me 20 bucks through Amazon. The best 20 bucks you could spend. Now you can get a lot of different maps for certain areas if that's an area that you know and you want more information about the surrounding area on top of the area you already know. So you could get just a detailed map of that area. You wouldn't have to get something this big. Now granted, if you gotta carry this thing, you know, in a backpack, that's extra weight and it is big. So that is something you have to take in consideration. But what you could also do is, as I have talked about in some of my videos, these little notepads here, these are called write in the rain notepads. These things are great. They come with a pencil. You can write in the rain. If the paper gets wet or anything else, um, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't uh, distort. Um, you can still read it and you can carry this in your backpack. So if you had a planned area that you were going to go to and you needed to know certain types of information as far as concordance or anything like that you could write all that stuff down in here 
uh, where the bridges are, where the trails are, where the campgrounds are, um, areas you maybe want to stay away from, the big cities, and you can get all the concordance right out of this map book here and put all that information into this for the area that you're going to go to. Now a bug out location, if something major was to happen and you had to leave your area and you had to find um, some place safe to go, granted you want to try to get out of the city as fast as possible, especially if you live in a big city. Now the reason being is, is because the SHTF is really going to hit the fan in the big cities and you want to get to the countryside as soon as possible. This way here you and your family hopefully will be safe and secure from anything drastic that could happen by staying behind. Now that is a big decision to make as far as um, do you leave, do you stay? all depends on the circumstances and your family circumstances and everything else. I would suggest that if you do have a location that you go to all the time and possibly nobody else goes there, it's a spot that you picked out out in the woods off of a hiking trail somewhere or whatever else, maybe if you have the availability to do it, um, burying a cache of say food or ammo supplies, um, medical supplies, that kind of stuff in that location area where you know where you can find it. Now that's the key thing to do. So something like that is you'd probably want to use GPS so that you could mark your trail and then write it into your book, the concordance to exactly where that spot is and then make sure that it's by some type of a marker being a big tree, a big rock. A rock would probably be better because trees can fall. So you may want to use something like a rock, um, a, a building of some kind if it's close to this building or a whatever it is that's out there that can be sturdy enough that it's going to withstand a storm or something like that you know trees can blow over and then you get out there and you can't find your stuff you know so having to at least having the the coordinates written down into your little notepad so that you know okay it's at this area here you know, and if you have a compass and you can pinpoint that area and get you close, hopefully you'll remember roughly where you buried your cash. Now, if you're gonna do something like that, <clears throat> you obviously don't wanna give away your bug out location and you don't wanna give away where you might bury your cash at. So those are just some of the things that you may wanna consider. You may be able to, um, if you have family members that live in the country, um, you may be able to just stash stuff at their place in containers or whatever else So if something happens and you have to leave the big city and you get to your Brother's house your sister's house your parents house whoever's house it may be You know when you get there you're going to have supplies on hand for you and your family um, So you don't have to rely so much on them to support you you'll be able to support yourself and then you can make a plan from there on what you're going to do and where you're going to go if you have to you know it depends on where they live if they live way up in the woods you may be safe you know if they live just say outside of the city um, you may have to get there and then come up with a plan b which I think you should already have planned out to begin with. I've talked about that in some of my videos. It's very important to have more than one plan in place um, so that everybody knows what's going on. Um, I would suggest that you would have at least three plan routes to get to your bug out location. Uh, plan A being uh, one of the most direct ways. Plan B would be sort of an indirect way you know off the beaten path but still on pavement roads and things of that nature and then worst case scenario plan c 
would be all your back roads, country roads, dirt roads, whatever it is that you have to take to get to safety. So on that note, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I just wanted to bring a little bit of uh, information on your bug out location, on things, on how to get there. And like I said, the Road Atlas is a really, really good tool. And for $20, you can't really go wrong. It gives you all the information that you may need to make sure that you and your family are safe. So until next time, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I will catch you all on the flip side.